So, what is minimalism? There's not really any strict guidelines that dictate whether you are or are not a minimalist. Basically, the concept is that you're living with the things that you need, and you're not living with excess things that don't serve you, whether or not it's actually physical objects or it's bad relationships, mental clarity even. Basically living in a more simplified state without being obstructed and distracted by excess things. Personally, I have downsized and minimized many, many times. I first got into doing this like five or six years ago on a very small scale and then I've been getting a little bit more and more intense about it. I actually have plans to build and live in a tiny house very soon and the amount of stuff I have is just not going to be conducive to living in a house like that, especially because I'm not going to be alone. There's another person with me that has more stuff than I have. So we have to work something out there and get rid of a lot of things. I'm living with my parents right now, saving up for the house. I was living with them before in a different house with a way, way bigger bedroom. And then I went to live in an apartment and I had all the stuff for my room in that apartment and the rest of the house. So like all the cooking supplies and cleaning supplies and I don't know, rugs, blankets, pillows, everything for the rest of the house. So I have all of that in this room right now from those two places. Stacked very organized, very neatly in the closets and around, but I still feel, I'm feeling very trapped by the amount of stuff that I have. So even though it won't be a little while until I can start actually constructing and definitely living in my tiny house, I just don't, I'm just not, I'm not happy with the amount of stuff that's surrounding me. I'm gonna take a little bit of time out of my day today to go through my clothes, my books, and my decorations. Later on then I can move to like costume supplies, artwork, um, apartment things that are all stacked in the boxes. Today this is my goal and I'll make videos on the other things as well. Um, let me first give you an overview of what this room is looking like right now. Stepping in here, it's pretty tight. You have to go around this piece of furniture. And I've got my bed, lots of pillows. I do have a lot of wall decorations. I'll explain a little bit more about that in a minute. And those are all my decorations on my dresser, nightstand. I have a cedar chest there. That's my dog's kennel. And then a bookshelf, let alone everything that's in these closets. See, I'm definitely feeling pretty overwhelmed with the amount of stuff that's in here. But without any further ado, I'm going to start going through my clothes. Now, as I go on with this, I wanted to mention a couple more things. I am about to do books. I love books. I find a lot of value in books. I keep all my favorites and ones that I always intend on reading but somehow never get around to, but I just love books. I'm probably at a third of the size of the books that I used to have, and this isn't my only bookshelf. I have more in the closet. I'm going to take today and try to be very honest with myself. I'm going to get rid of the ones I haven't read, ones I know I'll never read again, and um, always be reassuring and reminding myself that if I do want to read those books in the future, I can get them on Kindle or I can get them at a library. I don't need to hold on to them. They're just taking up space.
So ideally, I guess I wouldn't own any decorations because I know that they don't do anything. You know, they just take up space, but truthfully, I feel they really benefit my life. I love the look of a space with a lot of decorations in it. I know that it's better though, even for decorational purposes, if I just keep what I really, really love. So I don't feel like there is too much stuff when it's stuff that I really love. And that was the whole point of doing this today is because I feel like I was looking around saying, you know, I don't need that. I don't like that. I don't want that. So I'm doing something about it. Turn us to thousands And we'll grow in number Fueled by thunder See the horizon So this is what it's looking like at this point. As you can see, I've fully gotten rid of that bookshelf. Here is all the stuff. All my clothes, books, and decorations that just aren't serving me anymore. Yeah, I'm getting rid of this bookshelf. I'm also going to get rid of this little bench. It is storage. It just has some shipping supplies in it and a blanket, so I'm going to move those. I want to talk about my bed. Whilst I love the pattern, I think it's really cute. I think it would be better if I had like a solid light gray or white or maybe just a very subtle design. It would help open up the space. And as for all my pillows, I have a ton, obviously. I only want four. And I think this pillow that's up in the front is like a fancy memory foam one, and it's the only one that I actually sleep on. So my intention is to replace those back four pillows and have a nice matching bed set, and then I can get rid of that pillow and right now, actually, I'll get rid of this body one. The last thing that I want to address is the wall art here. So the stuff on the walls, for the most part, I will be getting rid of all these things, especially the large um, posters that are like reproduced, manufactured, um, things that aren't very unique. Things that if I really miss them, I could get again, is what I'm trying to say. But I do really like wall decorations. I am not a huge fan of just a clean bare wall, even as a minimalist. So I will be leaving the stuff on the walls up just because I think it will look very odd in here if I start taking things down. And even if I did take all the stuff I wanted and left the stuff that I um, was going to take to my tiny house, I would have to rearrange it all and probably fill and repaint a lot of holes in here. All right, I organized all the stuff. That's my little trash pile. This is basically needs to go somewhere else in my house pile. And this is all selling and donating, including the furniture it's sitting on. I tried to keep my trash pile as small as humanly possible because it's very wasteful to just throw away a bunch of stuff after minimizing. You want to try to donate as much as you can, especially if it's in good condition. Apparently that's like an epidemic right now. <laughs> after the rise in popularity of tidying up the Marie Kondo show, um, people are just throwing away masses of stuff and it's all going to landfills and further polluting the planet, which is the opposite of what we want. I mean, your carbon footprint as a minimalist and as like a vegan minimalist, which a lot of times those go together, is exceedingly lower than most people's because you're not consuming as many things and therefore not throwing away as many things. So in that vein, I'm keeping my trash piles as low as possible. So that's it for my room decluttering today. I will see you guys in the next one and hopefully I will have all this stuff taken care of or at least in a better place by then so you can see what it really looks like but I'll give you one last final overview of what it's looking like right now. Here's what we ended up with. Can't wait to have it all done so I can give it all a deep deep cleaning because there's so much cat hair. Alright, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and got at least a couple of helpful tips. I know I didn't really go into depth about things like clothes, but I will be making videos in the future about how to feel good while getting rid of things. But for now, I'll see you guys next time. Bye.